Hi everyone, today I'd like to start this new video series about alternative Android applications and what I mean uh, for alternative, I mean those applications that you can find in the F-Droid store okay, so I'll concentrate myself on F-Droid probably there will be also some application from Google Play but I don't know, most of the stuff will be coming from uh, F-Droid we will see, you know so let's start with this application, which is a screen recorder. It's called ScreenCam. It's actually the only one available on F-Droid. You know, I didn't find anything else aside for ScreenCam. And it's working very good, you know. Sometimes it crashes, but I also, I also have to say that I'm using it at the best resolution available for my s smartphone, which is 1080p. 60 FPS and the best bitrate, so 12 megabyte per second. That's also the recommended YouTube uh, uh, bitrate for uh, 60 FPS 1080p videos. All right, then here you have some other settings. You also have a nice video uh, preview here. You can, by the way, delete your videos and you can also edit them and cut them, you know. So cut some parts, some second at the beginning, at the end, whatever. I'm not going to show you that because the last time, a few minutes ago, it just crashed while I was recording. But anyway, it's nice to have there, you know. So you can just, with a few clicks, you can just cut the video. There it is. It's nice. It's free, open source. You know, from the F-Droid. And the next video, I'm going to cover some other n very nice application straight from the f repository such as LeanPhone here which is a WhatsApp and Skype alternative so you have uh, instant messaging uh, encrypted end -to -end, with end-to-end -end encryption and also video uh, calling so you can call and you can also call uh, more people you know not just one person yeah then there is, uh, it's called Linfon by the way, and there is Antox, which is the Tox, uses the Tox uh, network, okay. And it's also uh, an alternative to WhatsApp, you know. It's free open source, by the way, everything that I'm showing you right now, it's free and open source. There's also Contact, there it is another uh, WhatsApp alternative. It doesn't have video calls, I think. Then there is Document Viewer. This one is very good, you know. It reads everything. EPUBs, PDF, uh, comics, you know, really a beast. Then Thermux. This is a very nice terminal emulator with a built-in uh, distribution, basically. So you have some packages such as uh, Emacs, you know, Veeam, you can just install all these packages. It works like a mini Linux distribution, you know, inside this terminal emulator. Then Osman here for maps, free and open source. And it's great if you, if you travel around, so you have no internet connection, you know. So if you want to use offline maps, this is really a, a great choice. Then I have some other stuff, OpenCam here, alternative webcam. After all, by the way, I already uh, post a post on my blog and also did a video on how to install it. It's mega easy, really. So if you have an Android device, just install it and, uh, and try it, you know, why not? K9 mail for your emails. There it is. New pipe for YouTube. So you, it is a YouTube player which which also has a um, some features like uh, you can stream the audio, just the audio part. So we can just go and for a walk, and uh, you know with the display off and the audio just uh, streams. This is not happening with the official YouTube application. Antenna Pod for uh, podcasts, very nice uh, application. An FTP ser server here for uh, easily share files between your devices, especially from phone to, to your PC, you know. 
And that's it. By the way, the audio is not the best. I'm using the microphone, the, the, the default smartphone microphone, you know. Maybe in the next video, I'm going to just attach my gaming uh, headphones. So the standard microphone that I normally use. And that's it. And actually, uh, I'll try to install the Android alternative, which is called Replicant, which is a, a free and open source Android alternative. So it is a full OS, you know, for your smartphone. I'm using a China phone, you know, this is a Meizu M2 Note. It's very good, but maybe I will find some problem. I don't know. Maybe I will, I will make a post, by the way, on my blog and also some videos on how to install, if I can get to install it, because the only uh, supported devices were Samsung. So I don't know if I can with my China phone, you know. And I have also, I need also to say that this is not Android here. This is Flyme, which is a uh, modified Android, you know, this Chinese OS for Meizu, from Meizu. All right, that's it. Uh, this was ScreenCam. If you like, if you want to make some YouTube videos, you know, with your smartphone. So, sorry, some <laughs> video recording from your smartphone. There it is. The quality, it's the best. It's very smooth. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next time, guys, with some other video and especially some Android uh, tips. All right, bye-bye. Ciao.